Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shelby. If you are new here, nice to meet you. If you've seen me before, hello again. Um, today I'm going to be doing a something different. You know, I have never done any art on this channel other than special effects makeup. But today I'm going to be painting with you guys. I'm going to be watching a Bob Ross tutorial and painting on my overalls right here on the front patch. Um, I think I'm just going to be using acrylic paints, nothing fancy, I really don't use expensive art supplies, and to make them last on the denim, I'm going to be mixing my paints with a textile medium. And that's all you really got to know if you want to try this at home, but then I just have tape to tape off the area so I don't go crazy with the paints everywhere. So I'm going to put tape on my overalls and get Bob Ross pulled up and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm just pulling up Bob Ross. I'm gonna pick which show I wanna watch and then I'm gonna, I think, look through and try to find the painting I'm going for, what I envision for these overalls, so. That's going to take a fat second. Okay, so I think I found which video I want to watch. It's on Bob Ross Beauty is Everywhere. And I think I'm going to be painting episode... I'm stuck between two. Either 13, Winter Paradise, or Mountain Ridge Lake. And I think I'm going to go for the Ridge Lake setting. And I'm just going to be taping up my pants while that loads and gets pulled up. I haven't watched, pause, I haven't watched Bob Ross since my sophomore year of high school. Um, this has given me some weird memories, I must admit. I watched him a lot in high school. I feel like this is just going to be a very spiritual experience. I'm just going to be getting really close with Bob Ross here. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I feel like I need to come in and say I used to be a landscape um, painter. I don't know. I just used to paint landscapes and that's the only thing I did for like three years. So I have not painted a landscape probably like seven months and the last one I did was not that hard at all. It was very just me messing around and so I haven't really I mean it doesn't really take me that long though so I'm not sure if this is going to be way too fast for me or I'm going to be able to keep up somewhat and not be struggling the whole time but it'll be interesting to watch let's see how many of my skills I have lost <laughs> since I stopped doing landscape paintings because I definitely I don't think my skills will be where they were uh, a year ago so that's a little sad He's already painting his sky, and I gotta get a layer of white paint on these overalls. I was supposed to do that before I even started filming, but I'm just jumping ahead. I'm just mixing my textile medium with my white acrylic paint, and I'm gonna be covering this area. I put a lot of tape down because I'm paranoid that the white is gonna go everywhere. Um, but I'll let you know. Hopefully it goes well. See you on the flip side. Okay, so I have my white down on this patch. As much as it's going to go um, on, I don't need it to be completely white. I think it's good as it is because we're using blues for the most part on the places where it's not as thick on the white paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and start watching this tutorial and painting. Um, yeah, let's go. Maybe there's a little water here. Okay, so my paint is not as dark as his, so I'm gonna get another dark blue color to darken up the corners like he's doing. And 
and now I'm just washing off my brush and a little far behind, so. Not too overwhelmed yet. We'll keep you updated when the mental breakdown comes. So, you pull from the outside in. That way this is a nice feather. <laughs> and we'll work that in. I like it. What the heck? We don't care. Clouds are very free. Very, very free. Now with a good, clean, dry, two-inch brush, gently, 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 just using the top corner of the bed, easy. We have some happy little clouds. Now then, damn. These clouds are beating my booty. I can't even tell if that looks good. Probably not. Okay, so I have my mountain, and I'm gonna be starting on the grass that he has going up the mountain. At least a little bit of color on the knife. Okay, so at this point, I'm kind of improving. I'm just kind of going with whatever I feel right, because this is what I have so far. So we got some mountains and the grass and stuff, but it's just harder for me to do trees and stuff solely because it's so small. And I feel like it just kind of looks like little mounds everywhere, so I'm trying something else. Okay, so I finished my painting of Bob Ross's painting. It looks almost nothing like it. It was a lot harder than I thought because this one had a bunch of trees in it. Did not think that part through. Um, when you're using like such a small canvas, um, trees don't really look that hot, especially when it was just like smearing paint. I'll probably go back and add some, but this is my final product right now. And it has a Dr. Seuss quote on it saying, oh, the places you'll go. And yeah, that's it. I'll probably touch it up um, and I'll insert a picture of like the actual final product because I'm definitely going to touch it up and mess with it a little bit, I think. Um, but I'll add a picture of Bob Ross's version and mine right here. Um, I think it went pretty well. I'm just going to be honestly... Um, I wasn't trying to replicate it completely. It got to a point where I realized I couldn't and didn't really want to and I liked this. Um, and I'm going to be covering this whole thing in paint. So it really does not matter to me. I'm going to be doing stuff on the pockets in the back too. I haven't decided yet. Probably, I don't know. I really have no idea what I'm going to do back there. But I'm definitely probably going to start on that soon. Um, I can make another video, guy, video if you guys would like to see the transformation of these overalls over time because I'm just going to continuously add little things to them and see how cool I can make them because they, um, honestly I bought them with the intent of wearing them when I'm in the studio and getting paint all over them because um, I'm trying to get back into painting more, hence the canvas right here. I'm procrastinating on doing a piece that I've been thinking about for a long time. So I just put the canvas directly in front of me so I have to acknowledge that I'm actually procrastinating. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you guys if you want to comment and ask me questions or recommend videos. I would love that. Um, so till next time, peace out.